You may not know who I am, but you know my work. Oh, DJ. Oh, DJ. Great block right there. Touchdown, Panthers. And that's what we're looking. There's DJ in the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers. I've helped build one of the most dominating offenses in NFL history. But now, it's my time. My name is Lance Franklin, the new head coach and general manager of the Arizona Cardinals. Now, this job won't be easy, but I'm up for a challenge. And I brought some friends with me. I'm bringing one of the most experienced coaching staffs to Arizona. My offensive coordinator retired just a few years ago and is arguably one of the greatest wide receivers ever to play in the NFL, Larry Fitzgerald. And on defense, he was known as a lockdown corner, finishing his career with 55 interceptions and a member of the NFL Hall of Fame, Aeneas Williams. We're aware of this uphill climb. This was one of the worst teams in the league last season, and we don't have our first-round pick. But I think with this young talent that's already on this roster, we should be able to make some noise here real soon. In the next few weeks, we've got the combine, the start of free agency, and the NFL draft. And I plan on making the Cardinals major players. I plan on being a transparent coach and bringing a championship to the desert. So buckle up, Red Sea. This is going to be a fun journey. It's time for the Cardinals to take flight. Welcome back to the channel, guys, and welcome to a new series. This is the Arizona Cardinals franchise on Madden 21. It's a continuation of the Carolina Panthers franchise. Uh, we have left Carolina. We won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. That team is dominant, one of the most dominant teams in NFL history. But now, it's time for a new challenge. You got to meet Coach Lance Franklin and his coaching staff. Two Cardinal legends will be joining the, co the coaching staff and offensive coordinator, of course, wide receiver and future Hall of Famer Larry Fitzgerald and a, de and a defensive coordinator, uh, former Cardinal and current Hall of Famer Aeneas Williams. Uh, so this team is pretty bad. Take a look. So as you can see, the Cardinals finished three and 13 this year. That makes them the second worst team in professional football. They only scored 272 points this year and they gave up 465 points. We're in trouble. So let's take a look at this team and who makes up this roster. First up is second year quarterback Mark Turner from Texas. Now he was the number one draft pick uh, last year. Um, he comes in as a 73 overall. Uh, great throw power. The accuracy is kind of okay. Um, he can get outside the pocket with 81 speed, 85 acceleration, 89 agility. Uh, he is the quarterback of the future for the Arizona Cardinals. Kyler Murray actually left the team about two years ago and is now playing, I believe it's in New England. Uh, so Mark Turner is the future of this team. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what Coach Franklin does with him, uh, if he can groom him into a star quarterback like he did with Justin Fields. In the backfield, you have Ronald Jones, his seventh year out of USC. And again, uh, you're seeing a lot of red arrows pointing down. This team was awful. The morale in the in the uh, locker room has just been bad all year. Uh, but I think Rojo could still be a solid player, man. He is on a uh, he's going to be a free agent this year, and we're hoping that we we are hoping that we can bring him back. Uh, James White, 11th year out of Wisconsin, he's the backup. Then you also have John Claxton, his third year out of Oregon State. He's a solid backup, man. 77 overall, 90 speed. He's got great break tackle, great agility. Uh, they've got Larry Roundtree and also Keontae Saunders. I think the biggest issue is going to be at wide receiver. There is no like dominant wide receiver in this group. Uh, they've had a bunch of players that I think play the same role. They got Richie James Jr. Uh, it's his seventh year out of Middle Tennessee State. He's pretty quick. Uh, hands are pretty solid. Then you've got Nelson Aguilar, uh, 74 overall. He'll be 32 this year. Uh, the one guy that I definitely want to see this team bring back is Andy Isabella. Uh, he's a speedster, 95 speed. He's got a great catch. Uh, I know his deep route is probably going to be great. But then it just takes a drop off. Kadarius Toney, uh, Malcolm Camp, Eric Fowler, Josh Shirley, and Andrew, and Andrew Bryson. Um, I think one of the biggest things this team needs to do is find a weapon for Turner to throw the ball to, um, pr preferably somebody uh, that can come across the middle, 
and that can be a number one option. Also, we've got to upgrade the tight end position. Uh, Chris Manhurts, former Panther, he's here, uh, and it's the best tight end on the roster. Then you've got Clay Crossan, uh, Joe, uh, Jose Wembley, and Ray Ruiz. Uh, so n no weapons really at tight end for Turner. Uh, this team, I'm telling you right now, it's a complete overhaul. It's a complete overhaul. A lot of these guys were on one-year contracts as well. We'll take a look at the salary cap issues here coming up here in a few minutes. Got to get some help on the offensive line. Russell Kuhn played left tackle for him last year. And as you can see, he was no good. Uh, Garrett Bowles is his backup. Then at guard, it just gets worse. Nick Killings, fourth year out of Florida State. Then you got Will Irving and J.D. Moody uh, at center. B.J. Finney and uh, Eli Stevenson. This offensive line is just awful. Zach Fulton, uh, he'll be 33. He's a 70 overall. Then you've got J.R. Scott. And at right tackle, you've got Daniel Faali, uh, Tyrell Crosby, and then Josh Jones. So, I mean, it looks like our best offensive lineman is on the right side of the field. Um, but still, this is not – This is not. he has 61 pass block, y'all. 61 pass block. Wow. Now, to the defense side of the ball, I'll say this. I am impressed with the young talent they have on the defensive line. Uh, starting off with Gregory Rosua uh, from Miami. It's his fourth year. He's coming off an injury, but I think we could actually make this kid into a star. Uh, he's got the right traits. He could be what uh, Max Carruthers was for the Panthers. Great speed, 86 speed, 89 acceleration. The finesse move is there. The block shed is there. Uh, if we could just get up that play rec um, and his power move, I think this dude could be a perennial pro bowler uh, for the next few seasons. And then you got Javier Bass, the third-year DN from Washington. Same with him, man. These guys can get after the quarterback. He's got amazing speed. 88 speed at defensive end is just unheard of. 91 acceleration. He is definitely a pass rush specialist with a 78 finesse move. Uh, only problem is his, his block shed is not that great. The play rec is not that great. But I think with with uh, Aeneas Williams being his defensive coordinator, he could definitely help out uh, Bass. We're expecting Everson Griffin to retire. And then we got Rashad Lawrence. Uh, defensive tackle, Shai Tuttle is here. Uh, he's a solid player, man. I just don't know how long he'll be around. Uh, Fatu, Burns, Stark, Campbell. I, we like it's so many people we got to so many positions that needs to be upgraded on this team. And you got Justin Lowler uh, out at outside linebacker, 74 speed, just not going to get it down done. Then you've got Enrique Carmichael, third year linebacker out of Notre Dame. He seems like he's a solid player. Uh, he's got great speed, 84 speed, solid tackling traits, uh, but he just can't get off of blocks. He's got 61 block shed. Not a, he got he can't cover. Sheesh, that's tough. Uh, Nate Landman uh, from Colorado. And then you got James Newton. And middle linebacker Levante David is here. But as you can see, he's on the decline. Uh, he'll be 35 this year, which is insane. Uh, still got solid speed. The tackling is down. The block shedding is down. Great hit power. Uh, he's on the last year of his deal. We could bring him back if he does not retire. Uh, just to add depth. But as, uh, as I'm looking down the line here, you got Troy Reader. And then you've got Noah Dawkins from Citadel. He's got 90 speed. 90 speed, 81 tackling, 71 block shed, 79 hit power. Great pursuit and acceleration. If he does decide to run a 3-4, excuse me, uh, Hawk, Dawkins could be a solid second linebacker with that 90 speed. Uh, on the outside, you've got uh, Agba, Agbanina, Agbania, Akur, yep. He's not even going to be on this team. <laughs> <laughs> Malik Jefferson, former Panther. He was traded here. Uh, they've got Dante Olsen in the secondary. This is interesting, man. There's a couple players here that I think can really uh, benefit from having Aeneas Williams as their coach. Greedy Williams is one of them. Uh, he's a former Panther. We did trade Greedy here to Arizona for a first round pick, which is the number two pick in the draft. We'll talk about that here in a second. But I think Greedy could be a star. Uh, you know, I was a big fan of Greedy when he was with the Panthers. Uh, now he gets to be cornerback number one. That's great speed. The man coverage is solid. The only problem is he doesn't have great play rec. Uh, but I think, again, working with Aeneas Williams, we could change that. Uh, Richard Sherman is on his way out. I'm pretty sure he'll retire at the end of the year. Um, I think Kendall Sheffield could be a solid number two corner for us. 93 speed, 78 man coverage. 
Uh, solid play rec, great acceleration and agility. Uh, solid press as well. Again, I think with these young guys uh, at corner, they can learn a lot from Williams. And you got Tavon Starks, third year from LSU, and uh, Kerry Vincent Jr., another corner from LSU. At safety, you got Jalen Thompson from Washington State, 90 speed. Uh, the zone coverage is at 75. Then you got Tariq Thompson from San Diego State. And then Isaiah Simmons is the guy I really want to build this defense around. Um, you know, he's taking a step back just because this team is so bad. But I'm thinking about moving Isaiah from strong safety down to middle linebacker. He's got great size at 6'4", 238. Right now they have him playing strong safety, and I just think that's out of position for him. He's got great speed. For a, line, for a linebacker. The tackling ability will go back up. The pursuit is there. Uh, and he could be the leader of this team. He can get off of blocks very well. I, I think that's the move for him. Uh, he is uh, set to be a free agent this year. But uh, I'm willing to throw the entire house at Isaiah Simmons to make sure that he stays an Arizona Cardinal for the rest of his career. And then at kicker, we've got uh, Kaimi Ka 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 Fairbairn. Fairbear? Fairbear. Yep, there it is. I'm terrible with names, y'all. Uh, solid kicker. Uh, I think he's going to be a free agent as well. And then T Tim Elam from Washington is the punter. So as you can see, this team is just bad. All around bad. And here's a look at the draft positions for us. Like I said before, we do not have our first round pick. The Carolina Panthers do have our first round pick. Uh, so we would have the number two pick in the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh round. Me being, uh, me knowing coach personally, this is not enough picks. Not enough picks. We're going to have to make some moves. Um, you know, probably, probably trade away some of the future picks to move up. Uh, there's a lot of people in this draft that we are looking at, especially a wide receiver. Um, I think that Mark Turner could be the future of this team. Um, I just, I have to see what he can do on the field. We are going into this season blind, fellas. We are going into the season blind. Uh, I think that, you know, with Coach Franklin coming over from Carolina, he's used to the Panthers' type of play. He's used to having a big quarterback with a strong arm, uh, a running back that can do it all, and a wide receiver that can go get it. We got to bring that here to Arizona. This team is in dire need of a revamp and is in dire need of a change in culture and it is on us to bring it here so this is what the season looked like for the cardinals mark turner in his rookie year threw for 3627 yards 19 touchdowns with 14 picks and he was sacked 37 times this year on the ground ronald jones rushed for 680 yards and four touchdowns james white carried the ball 111 times for 458 yards and five scores Turner got outside the pocket 109 yards and two scores, and then Claxton had 107 yards and two scores. Out wide, Richie James Jr. led the team with, 70, with 72 grabs for 865 yards and five scores. Andy Isabella was second with 67 grabs for 750 and two scores. Uh, Nelson Aguilar, 64 catches, 801 yards and five scores. Manhurt, solid season for him, 55 catches, 540 and four scores. Uh, James White out of the backfield, 23 for 199. And Clay Crossan, 15 catches, 174, and two scores. Uh, then you have Kadarius Toney uh, from Florida, 14 grabs, 181. Jones caught a touchdown, and so did Wembley. I mean, not bad numbers for this team. Uh, I mean, I'm shocked that Richie James had that many yards. Um, but again, we, we're, we need a dominant wide receiver. We need a wide receiver that can go across the middle, that can run all the routes. That's, that's going to be one of our main focuses this offseason. Here's a look at the sack totals. I mean, just sheesh. Three guys gave up eight sacks in all. Uh, we, our center gave up four. Our right guard gave up three. And then Bowles gave up two. To the defensive side of the ball, Levante David led the team with 121 tackles. Greedy had 95. Jalen Thompson had 93. Isaiah Simmons had 90. Sherman had 89. Sheffield with 85. Uh, Noah Dawkins had 78. That's the guy with the 90 speed at linebacker. Uh, Rasul had 47. Lawrence had 44, so did Tuttle. Uh, the outside linebacker had 35. Fatu had 33, so did Everson Griffin. And then Malik Jefferson had 30. Here's a look at the sack totals. GR had five. Griffin had five. David had two, so did Bass. 
The Dawkins had one, and Sheffield and Tuttle split a, uh, split a sack. And in the turnover department, David had two picks, so did Sheffield and Sherman. Dawkins, Williams, Thompson, and Simmons each had one. Fair Baron had a pretty solid season, 14 of 18, 77%. He knocked one through for 53, and then he missed only one extra point. Bro, we only scored. They only scored 31 touchdowns last year. Wow. Punt game. Elam has a strong leg. It looks like 57 punts for almost 3,000 yards. Uh, he had 12 touchbacks. He punted the ball 71 yards in one play. Wow. He only had one block. Uh, the return game. Starks had 516. Fowler had 737. And then Richie James for 118 yards uh, on punt returns. So here's a look at the team schedule, man. This is my first time taking a look at this. Got blown out by the 49ers. Lost to the Lions. Lost to the Cowboys. Blown out by the Ravens. Our first win came in week five against the Giants, and that was by a field goal. Had our bye week. Got blown out by the Rams. Came back and beat the Seahawks in Seattle. Lost again to the Niners. Browns, Steelers, uh, Seahawks, Bengals, Rams, the Washington football team, the Buccaneers, and then on the last game of the season, we got our third win against the Eagles. So here's a look at what our salary cap is looking like going into the offseason. We have a lot of money, $195 million, almost $200 million. Now, a lot of these guys that were brought into Arizona were brought in on one-year deals, so that's why there's so much money uh, going into this offseason. Um, I think... Part of what we need to get done first is bringing back some of these solid backups. Like, I would love to bring back Jalen Hurts. Um, I would love to bring back somebody like Isabella. I think he would be a great slot player for us. Um, Ronald Jones, I want to bring him back for sure. We need a starting, uh, starting running back. Even though he'll be 27, I still think he has some good mileage left on his uh, tires. Richard Sherman will be gone. Levante David, we can let walk. I wouldn't mind bringing back Jalen Thompson. Uh, Fair Baron is, is cool to bring back. Kendall Sheffield is definitely on my list to bring back. But I think the biggest re-signing needs to be Isaiah Simmons. I am will, Like I said before, I'm willing to throw the entire bank at Isaiah Simmons. I want to move him to middle linebacker and allow him to run this defense. Uh, and I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, going into free agency... You know, our my biggest thing with free agency is I don't want to overpay for older players. I want to keep this team young. I want to keep building around the players that are here. So Mark Turner's our starting quarterback right now. I want to get him some weapons just to see what he can do with the weapons. Uh, if he isn't our quarterback of the future, then we could look. But I, I at least want to give him one more season to see what he can do. Um, like I said, wide receiver is definitely a place that we need to upgrade tight end. And that offensive line is just awful. It's awful. And if we're going to have Turner, if we want Turner to succeed in his career, we got to get him some protection. Uh, defensively, uh, with Simmons moving a middle linebacker, we've got to get some, some safety help. Definitely a free safety and strong safety. I like the, the corners of Sheffield and Greedy Williams. Uh, we will be looking for another slot corner. And outside linebacker help is going to be important. And a D tackle, that a couple of D tackles that can plug up holes. So, again, it's going to be you know, finding the right players that fit the scheme for coach. Uh, but we have to upgrade every position. And, you know, this free agency class, I don't know if we're going to have that. Uh, that's why I'm thinking in the draft, we have to find a way to get more picks. Uh, if we plan on making a run to the playoffs and changing this three and 13 season into somewhat of a winning season. But before we get out of here, let's take a look at the retirements. Let's see if we got any guys that are, Deciding to walk away from the Cardinals. We do. Cool. Okay. So, Levante David did retire. Everson Griffin retired. So, did BJ Finney and James White. That's good to know. And here's a look at all the players that we need to figure out if we're going to bring back. There's 29 players. Like I said, Isaiah Simmons is priority number one. And he wants not bad of a contract either. Five years for 57 mil. I'm going to give him more than that. I'm going to probably give him somewhere between six years, uh, 70 mil, six years, 75 mil, uh, because I think he's going to be that good for us. Um, but any other players on this list, probably Ronald Jones, 
Uh, we're going to let Richard Sherman walk. Kendall Sheffield is a must get to bring back. Fairbairn we could bring back. I think Jalen Thompson we could bring back. Uh, Andy Isabella definitely want to bring him back. Um, and I think that's it. Jalen Hurts. I think that's it, guys. Noah, Noah Dawkins. Yep. So, I mean, a few players on this list that we could bring back. Um, but I'm interested to see what free agency is going to look like. Um, I'm interested to see if we can make any moves up or down in the draft to get more draft picks. Uh, this is a very deep draft this year. Um, so, you know, the more picks that we have, the better talent we'll be able to bring into Arizona. And uh, I don't think we'll be a playoff team this year. But give us two years. I think Coach Franklin could definitely bring in uh, some quality players and get his system up and running, man. Uh, so here's what I'm thinking uh, for the rest of this week. Um, this is today is Monday. Uh, Wednesday, I'm going to take the night, the day off. And then Friday, we are going to do an off-season live stream. Friday is the off-season live stream. So we do um, free agency. We'll do the draft. We'll do uh, cha position changes. We'll take a look at the schedule and all that good stuff. So we'll get that done on Friday. Monday, you will get – next Monday, you will get the entire preseason. And then we'll kick off the regular season next Wednesday. Uh, so a lot coming up. Again, you will see more Arkansas A&M players being integrated into uh, this series. In this draft, you'll see Randy Thomas, Rob Thomas, uh, in that draft class. The next draft class, I'm thinking about combining two draft classes into one. That way we catch up uh, to the seasons that are already here uh, for A&M. So it would be like A&M series gets done, and then that draft class gets imported into uh, the Cardinals franchise. I think you give us three or four seasons, we're going to win a Super Bowl. And we're going to ride with the Cardinals until Madden 22 comes out. So this should be fun, man. I hope you guys are excited. Uh, you'll get a lot more behind the scenes with Coach Franklin. You'll learn about his personality. You'll learn about how he gets business deals done, uh, his interaction with players, his interaction with other teams, uh, looking for trades. This is going to be fun. And I hope you guys are excited for it. If you are, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget to ring that bell. Join the Noti Squad. And make sure you guys hit those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and IG. And come through and join the Discord fam for exclusive content. And we'll talk on Friday for the off-season live stream. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace. Big thank you to all the members of the channel and the Patreons. If you would like to become a member or a Patreon, hit the links down below in my description.